and it went for Derrick James. How important was to have Derrick James in the corner? Oh yeah, that's a major key, you know. Um, we just have a great chemistry. Um, Derek, so Derek? Uh, Derek is uh, he's like a father figure, uh, besides obviously my dad, but he's like a father figure. He always, um, he always uh, pulls me inside and he done seen me cry before. And he was like, but I'm just saying, this is I, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really fuck with me. That's right. I can do whatever I want. I still do. He did, he did uh, settle down on Sunday, though. <laughs> just imagine I don't know. if none of that happened and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Oh, I did do that, but I just. I just, just imagine, see, use your imagination because y'all all have great ones. Way, just imagine all the things you just said, and I'm going to keep my mouth because this is our. And he would have just but been everything like, man, straight yeah. for eight weeks, would have been a wrap. Yeah. But, like, so I, right, I, I was just having fun, man. I, I'm just looking. I'm going through a lot, you know. I got. I, I, I went through a divorce. Um, I just, a lot of shit's been happening to me, you know, outside my life. Um, <clears throat> that low key kind of broke me. So, you know, I, I did what I felt I needed to do to feel okay. I'm sorry, I every day, and I did whatever I wanted. And, uh, I'm not proud of it at all. I just pray, you know, pray for my kids, and hopefully they're okay. You know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud. Um, you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example. Look at Jesus Christ, because um, I'm far from perfect. You spoke and you've spoken in the past about the experience in Vegas, the tank fight, the rehydration clause, the rib injury, uh, the, the catch weight. What did you learn from that experience and how has it helped you? Uh, in this fight, and how might it help you moving forward in your career? Uh, that people don't give a shit about you. They'll just, uh, they'll just put, they don't give a fuck. Like people don't give a fuck. So, you know, it's war at the end of the day. So I understood that um, I can't play around even in negotiations. I can't let them win in anything. Because, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to run that fight. Despite all the causes, he told me not to. Everybody and their mama told me not to. But I was like, fuck that, man. You guys are boring. Everybody's boring. I'm going to fight them. Win or lose, I'm going to run it. And I'm going to his ass in the second. I was too weak. I, I knew I was going to lose in the back room. I had no power. I had no power. I had no mind. I was dehydrated. It was really bad. I should I should actually die cutting that weight. I should have. I really do. But God protected me because I was blistering out of my mouth. I had no spit. It was like it was hurt. It hurt every day to make that weight. I shook. I was shaking in the bed. Like shit was crazy.